One of the significant new changes coming to career mode in FIFA 21 is the ability to retrain players to be able to play in new positions. While it will be difficult to make extreme changes, like converting João Felix into a reliable centre-back, the feature will open up plenty of new and useful options on career mode. Here are five of the best players to convert into new positions on FIFA 21. Aaron Wambasaka, Manchester United. Current position, right back slash right wing back, new position, centre back. Aaron Wambasaka has been a fine addition at Manchester United since he arrived from Crystal Palace last year. The right back is an excellent defender and has helped to shore up the Red Devils back line. But unlike many modern fullbacks, there's one aspect of the game where he doesn't offer a great deal, and that's going forward. He's quick and good on the ball, but his distribution and delivery leave much to be desired, so creating chances for his teammates in the final third isn't his strong suit. With his excellent defensive attributes, which range from 81 awareness to 90 slide tackles on FIFA 20, he could be better used as a pacey centre-back on FIFA 21's career mode, allowing for a more attacking right-back to be brought in alongside him. His biggest shortcoming in the centre will be his lack of aerial ability. His jumping is just 62 on FIFA 20, while his heading accuracy is even lower at 58. However, pairing him with a centre-back who's strong in the air like Harry Maguire could offset that weakness. Just don't send him up for corners. Lionel Messi, Barcelona. Current position, right wing slash striker slash centre forward. New position, CAM slash CM. Since Andres Iniesta left Barcelona in 2018, it's become increasingly common to see Lionel Messi dropping deep to pick up the ball and act as a playmaker for the Catalan Giants. The Argentinian talisman is among the greatest goalscorers the game has ever seen and has an unrivaled finishing stat of 95 on FIFA 20, but he's also one of the world's top creators too. On FIFA 20, only Kevin De Bruyne can match his 94 vision, while Toni Kroos is the only player who shares Messi's 92 stat for both short and long passing. With his exceptional distribution, agility and technique, Messi could just as easily shine as a number 10 on FIFA 21, or perhaps even as a deeper line playmaker running games in central midfield. Just be sure to instruct him to get forward wherever possible to ensure you can still make use of his incredible shooting. David Luiz, Arsenal. Current position, centre-back, new position, CDM. If you're managing Arsenal on FIFA 21, one of the first things you'll want to do is upgrade your defensive options. David Luiz's tendency to self-destruct with calamitous errors doesn't really translate into FIFA, but given he's now 33, he'll likely be among the defenders you look to replace. You might be able to make a little cash by selling the Brazilian, but another option could be convert him into a defensive midfielder in his twilight years. He has played that role at various points in his career, and he has a history of impressive defensive midfield cards in FIFA's Ultimate Team mode over the years too. On FIFA 20, Luis has 77 short passing and 83 long passing with 79 ball control, while his standing tackles and interceptions are each 81, so his attributes make him well suited to operating in front of the back line. Casemiro, Real Madrid. Current position, CDM. New position, centre back. One player who could move in the opposite direction is Real Madrid enforcer and Luis's compatriot, Casemiro. Sergio Ramos is 34, so if you're in charge of Los Blancos on career mode, it won't be long before you're searching for a replacement who can step into the stalwart's boots long term. Casemiro has all the attributes needed to become an excellent ball-playing centre-back, so converting him into a defender could be an effective solution to that problem. His strong tackling, interceptions and defensive awareness stats range from 84 to 88, so they're comparable with Ramos on FIFA 20, and his 84 short and long passing is even better than the defenders. He also has 90 strength, so there aren't too many players capable of outmuscling him, and he's good in the air too, even if he can't match the Spaniard in that regard. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Liverpool. Current position, right back, new position, right mid slash centre mid. Liverpool right back Trent Alexander-Arnold is a competent defender, but unlike wan Saka at Manchester United, his biggest strength is what he can contribute in the final third. The youngster is one of the most creative outlets in Jurgen Klopp's side thanks to his marauding runs upfield and remarkable delivery into the penalty area. Aside from his lacklustre shooting on FIFA, Alexander-Arnold is a strong all-rounder, so he'd perhaps be even more effective in midfield than he is as a fullback. His best attribute on FIFA 20 is his 93 crossing, so moving him up the right flank and converting him into a wide midfielder would allow him to continue to make use of that regularly. His long and short passing are both strong at 87 and 85 respectively, so coupled with his 86 ball control, 82 vision and good defensive capabilities, he'd also be a fine central midfielder. So here are some of the players we think would be great candidates to change positions on FIFA 21. Whose position are you going to change?
Let us know in the comments below.